So our first customer is actually going to be James Watts. He's the Group Information Officer from Agentius. Agentius is a financial services firm, and you know there's been a lot of upheaval in the in the financial services uh, industry, in a, you know, over the past couple of years. What, what what do you guys actually do? So Agentius is a private equity and real estate fund administrator. We started. Um, 10 years ago where we felt there was a gap in the market um, to really give a high-end administration solution to these complex fund structures. Um, 10 years ago we started with 10 people and it's been well received by the market and now we're up to just over 500 employees across 12 locations. Wow, so that's, that's a quite a bit of growth over the, over the past 10 years given everything that's happened in that services industry, in the financial services industry. Yeah, I think that's for three main reasons. Um, one, the the growth in the market that we're in has helped us and our clients have expanded geographically and we've been able to follow them with this bespoke service we offer. Um, also, with the financial turmoil, clients and investors have become a lot more uh, demanding around information. So with our bespoke service, we can give a lot more granular and detailed information and service to them. And finally, the um, regulations that have come in and uh, governance has led us to be able to offer separate products. Um, we opened Orgentius Depository a couple of years ago and recently opened Orgentius Compliance for our clients as well. And compliance is something that we talked about a, a lot uh, over the past, uh, you know, past couple of minutes. So is that company actually in NetSuite? Yeah, and one of the, the power of NetSuite for us is, again, it's a subsidiary in NetSuite and we've been able to um, amend NetSuite as we go to create these new product lines. So that's very useful for us. So how many subsidiaries do you actually have in NetSuite today? So we have 22 subsidiaries across seven currencies, which all consolidated into one sterling. And, and how many locations across the world does that translate uh, to? 12. 12, okay. So, you know, we, we've talked a little bit about how you've been growing over the past couple of years. You know, what, what actually made you choose NetSuite in the first place? I think we'd, we'd had really rapid growth and we, we didn't have the uh, a spine of a system that helped us. So we had accounting systems and spreadsheets that were basically running our company. And, as the business got more complex with more complex solutions, we, we needed something that was a spine to our business. So it was essential that we found a powerful accounting program, but also something that had a professional services automation integrated into it. And when we did the case studies with NetSuite and the RFPs, it, it certainly was the best solution out there. And can you talk a little bit about what improvements you've seen using since NetSuite? Yeah, uh, across the board really, and from the finance side, we, we have greater controls now. We have purchase order processing, cost center management, so the business units um, globally have that information at their fingertips. Um, certainly our professional services, uh, automation and business, um, we, can, we can invest, we can look into all the data we have there, so we can drill down to revenue and profitability by client, by team, by location, and it's all embedded into one single point of truth. Great. So. You know, talk to me a little bit about, um, you know, you, you have all of these different companies all over the world. You know, how often are you actually switching people in and out of those different projects? Uh, all the time. So a, a typical project in SRP will be worked on by um, potentially four or five locations. And the, the things that you're talking about where um, you have automatic automa um, movement between the subsidiaries in the future will be very, very useful for us. So tell me a little bit about what's in store over the next couple of years for Argentius. So again, we'll, we'll follow um, where our clients' needs and desires are, so whether that's geographically or new products, we'll, we'll try to produce those for them. Um, and then from a NetSuite point of view, we're excited about the advanced revenue recognition. We, we think the more information we can get from NetSuite um, will be very valuable to our clients. And um, the, the things that were on the keynotes yesterday about the One World, and um, improving One World, we already have. When we moved on to NetSuite, we, we had an automated consolidation, but certainly it's a good solution. But with the things you were talking about yesterday, it will certainly be a lot stronger. And I know you guys are very interested also in a little bit around the social aspect of NetSuite as well. You guys do a lot of communication yeah. between subsidiaries. That's right. So we're, we're very interested in Suite Social. I think we're um, trying to help you roll that out because um, with so many people in so many different locations, a tool like that is really useful for us. It's embedded into the projects and the business units, so we're hoping to go live with that in the next couple of months, but we think that's a really powerful tool. Great. Well, thanks for coming up and sharing Thank your you. story with us.